The Trump administration confirmed today it lifted another Obama-era regulation. The administration announced that the remains of elephants legally hunted in Zimbabwe and Zambia can be imported as trophies, reversing a ban under President Obama. I hate Obama so much, I'm going to strangle Dumbo. The lion was illegally lured away from a conservation reserve in order to be killed. Trophy hunting. Where stalkers of endangered wildlife flock to Africa, South Africa, and Canada for their next kill, pursue an opponent unwilling to play in a deadly game. The result? A rapid decline. The numbers here are shocking. It is estimated 33,000 elephants are killed every year. 33,000, most of them for their ivory. It is not just elephants. The Trump sons became targets themselves earlier this year after photographs of their big game kill surfaced online just as hunting claimed the life of Africa's famous Cecil the Lion. It may cost an arm and a leg, roughly $66,790 for a white rhino, $52,500 for a safari with lions, buffalo, leopard, and plains game. But hey, at least the winning team has feelings for the losers. When I kill an animal, I walk up to the animal and with great and deep respect, place my hand on his face and thank him for his life. Propagandizers like these dudes make the tone-deaf argument. When you look at the amount of money generated by conservationists, about the amount of land that's put aside to save these kind of uh, the habitat for those animals, all of that's driven by hunters. Where have I heard this before? The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Inside a douchebag and douche nozzles point, a portion of the fee is paid directly to community members and to a fund for conservation projects to protect the area's wildlife. Ah, yes. The fee helps conservation efforts of an already endangered species. Or does it? As for what happens to the hunters' fees, that is notoriously hard to pin down and impossible in kleptocracies. Except we have that number. Hunting generates $200 million annually for remote areas of Africa. But a 2013 report prepared for the African Lion Coalition found that just 3% of hunting revenue ends up in local communities. You know what could help? The $24.5 billion spent in tourism-based safaris to watch the animals. But back to this conservation argument. Just how much do they preserve wildlife for trophy hunting? The animals are caged, taken from their mothers, and when male lions grow into adulthood, many are shot and killed for hunting fees. If hunters truly care about conservation, then why did we have 10 million elephants in Africa in the early 1900s, but today there are just a few hundred thousand, and their numbers are still declining? There is another pill widespread corruption. Green Mile Safari fired automatic weapons, hunting female and young animals, and allowed a minor to hunt and kill. Albeit the government banned the Green Mile, the company was reissued their license. Corruption, out in the open, no one cares. The prey, in the wild to trophy hunters, they are as much of a paycheck as it is an enshrinement to murdering the defenseless. In the wild to those that don't suffer personality traits of narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy, we see this. This is a video of an elephant who sees a man. I think the man was swimming, but he thinks the man is drowning and he's trying to save him. Stuart Udall once said, plans to protect air and water, wilderness and wildlife are in fact plans to protect man. Please support these true, authentic conservation efforts like LionAid.org, the International Fund for Animal Welfare, or even the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. We must protect these species from the psychotic thrill of trophy hunters. If we don't, who will? If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey, to keep media independent, go to tyt.com slash rick.